In today's video, we're going to take you with us as we uncover the tragic story behind the rise and fall of a once trusted funeral home, a story of betrayal and death. Once the pillar of a Southern community for over 50 years, this now abandoned funeral home nestled in the heart of a small American town was a place where grieving families sought solace and comfort during their darkest of days. However, behind the facade of compassion and care, a sinister truth lurked, waiting to be exposed. Little did the unsuspecting clients know that their trusted funeral home was secretly stealing money from them, preying on their vulnerability and grief for their own selfish gain. And if that wasn't bad enough, the funeral home had also been caught hiring unlicensed staff and failing to renew their funeral license to practice. As the news broke of the funeral home's illegal activities, shock and disbelief sent shockwaves throughout the town. Families who had entrusted their loved ones' final arrangements to the funeral home now found themselves feeling betrayed, exploited, and taken advantage of. Right, so we just got upstairs here. This is the former casket display room, and you can see there are several caskets up here still on display. You can see like the old racks where the caskets would have been held there, where people would have come up and viewed them and seen which ones they wanted for their loved one. This one's like a burgundy red. And that one's sort of like a baby blue. Baby blue and burgundy. This one's open. A nice pillow in there. Kind of grimy and dusty, but what do you expect? I think this place closed in the early 2000s, probably like, no joke, 20 years ago. The state investigation revealed that the funeral home had been operating without a proper license for several years, skirting regulations and cutting corners to maximize profits. The owners had shamelessly pocketed thousands of dollars from grieving clients, leaving them financially devastated and emotionally shattered. The once respected funeral home was now disgraced, shunned, and denounced by the very community that it had served. Families who had been defrauded came forward with their heart-wrenching stories, recounting how they had been manipulated and deceived during their most vulnerable moments. Nothing. Dude, if I opened that up and there was a body, I'd flip. See, baby blue interior too. You can kind of see how dirty it is on top here. Finally, in 2010, in a swift decision, state authorities shut down the funeral home and revoked their license, holding the funeral home owners accountable for their actions. The closure marked an end of an era tainted by greed and deception. As the community moved forward, they carried with them the lessons learned from their betrayal and vowed to honor their loved ones' memories in a way that truly reflected their values and beliefs. Though scarred by the experience, they emerged stronger and more united, ready to face whatever challenges came their way with resilience and grace. Next to the rack, the casket rack, is the casket lift. Look at that thing. That thing is a beast. So obviously you could lift the caskets up here or drop them down to the chapel or viewing room or whatever. So that drops down. Hanging through the ceiling there. pretty interesting. It's not every day that you see those in, in a funeral home either, especially that old. Up here was the residence. It's pretty empty, except you got some food up in there, <laughs> some rolled oats. Oh, that looks great. But look at this old school dishwasher and appliances. And the floor is just so hit too. I almost fell through a couple times. Almost fell through just now, because you see it's hit. But, just so old school. I had to show you the old range. Old brickwork around the sink. An old safe here too. Reliable Safe Company, Covington, Kentucky. 
and then his like old medical books and stuff up here in this library. Eastern Digest too. Another safe, that one's ripped open. Playboy's Host and Bar Book. That's cool. Oh, this is all empty, I'll show you though. See, it's all empty. And this room has some furniture in it, but I'm stupid. Although it's got the Marvin Gaye What's Going On vinyl now. Rep in Detroit in this mug. And it's in there too. Look at that. Now that's what's up. Looks like an old yearbook. Maroon and gold, 1957. It's all signed, look at that. Varsity Club. This is old, old antique dresser here with the mirror. Now we'll go back down. This could be upstairs in that residence. Christmas day, the children. Pictures of the family. 1988. Last, the end of this roll. Oh, might be him right there with the sax. These old pictures. Air Force or something. I'm probably that's probably a decedent. I used. And then all the burial vaults in here. Burial vault there. A couple there. And one down there. This place is big. But this is the former chapel here. It's gutted. You can see though. You can see the mural up there. Probably the where the podium and pulpit would be, where that um, mural is up there. Somebody let off fire extinguisher everywhere. There's some furniture. And that just leads around. Look at the mold on the walls. So we just crawled in from underneath here. We were able to squeeze in and it led right into the casket room with a couple of caskets chilling on display here. Pretty dusty, but otherwise in decent condition. I mean, you can see it's not that bad. It's like wood grain. Pretty identical. They're both pretty identical to each other. But it's just cool to see. I still have some caskets up in here. They're both on like rollers. It's like a metal one back here. Look. biohazard sticker on it. Got some like grave. Mother and Mr. Harris's grave there. My son. It's 
kind of sad. This is like a garage area. And then this is the casket lift from the bottom. You can see the hydraulics there. Our casket holder. All right, so now we go over to the last part, which is the embalming room. Which is pretty cool, other than the fact that someone let off a fire extinguisher and now it's covered in that stuff. But you got all sorts of makeup and product here on the shelf. And all that makeup and cream and toenail clippers, hairspray and gel, earrings and um, jewelry, clothing to dress them up. It's a cool old cabinet. Look at that thing. Balming fluid, <laughs> wig, body lift over there too. Look at this grimy, grimy gurney. Grimy drain, too. Look at that thing. <sighs> wow. Got all the chemicals, the tissue builder, embalming fluid, arterial fluid, embalming machine. Old school, too. Still got the lid on it, too. That's cool. Looks like more curling irons here. Oh, look at that needle. Let's cover the eyes of the deceased. Looks like makeup product for bodies, dressing bodies up. Razor and br brushes for blush and whatnot. Look at that big old bottle of tissue builder that's from 2005. Embalming fluid, embalming cream, skin sealant, arterial fluid again. Wow. Sharps container. Not sure what's going on with this face. Probably to practice on or something like that. These are actual pictures of a funeral of a dead body. Isn't that wild? I've only seen that like one other time. Old school embalming table too. The base of it. Fat. Uh, if we go to this other side here, show you some cremains that they left in here too. Yeah, right here. 1997 and it's full. So heavy. More cremains. Another one behind it. It's wild. And then over here, you got the product again, another wig. And you can see the product a little better from over here. Get the whole layout. It's the garage through that door. This side, look at the real hair. That's so gross. Incision sealing compound. <laughs> Arterial fluid. Arterial fluid again. Some back there. There's all sorts of it back there too. Look at these needles. Use needles everywhere.
And that should do it. That is it for inside. Now we want to go shoot the, um, there's a hearse outside, so we want to go shoot that next. Here's the hearse. People put their names in the dust. Caddy. Is it unlocked? I don't know. Definitely grimy, bro. Look at this. It's been here a while. Jeez. Masterpiece. Yeah, that's unlocked. Sweet. It's wild that the hearse is still sitting in the carport. Cadillac hearse. You can see this is the uh, carport side. You can see all the doors are boarded. The closing of the funeral home marked the end of a long-standing institution within the local community. For many years, the funeral home had provided compassionate and dignified services to families in time of need. It affected the families who had entrusted their loved ones to its care, the staff who had dedicated their careers to serving the bereaved, and the wider community at whole that had relied on its services. Its closure signified not only the loss of a business, but also the end of an era. The once beloved funeral home continues to sit abandoned today, slowly falling into disrepair. As we come to the conclusion of the video, as sad as it is, we still hope that you guys enjoyed it. For more photos from this funeral home and our other locations, check out our website at AbandonCentral.com. And don't forget, subscribe to Abandon Central on YouTube so that you get all of our latest videos. Your support is always appreciated.